This episode is brought to you by Mood. Hey. Hey, Dan. What's up? Oh, what's up with this guy? He seems halfway tolerable today, am I right? <laughs> yeah, he, he was like frustrated because he hadn't been able to sleep. So he tried Mood's uh, Sleepy Flower, right? They, they got all these different categories. Uh, he had Counting Sheep, which is a sleepy category, but they got Energized, they have Euphoria, they got Chill, Relaxed. So, so many categories. Oh, I've heard of Mood. Mood is federally legal THC, that right? Yeah. And now they're adding their most potent product to their menu, right? Introducing hemp-based THCA flour. That part. Wow, they offer everything from uh, flour to gummies to vapes and more, right? Yeah. Try Mood's new THCA flour today, and for a limited time, get a 20% discount on your first order and a free THCA pre-roll. Go to hellomood.com and use promo code NEDS. That's hello, M-O-O-D, Dot com, use promo code NEDS and get a free 20% discount and a free THCA pre-roll. Let's draw on his face. It's mandatory. We have to. I want to pour something rancid in his mouth. You do that. Okay. Thanks. of issues with my outfit today. Lindsay, yeah. what's going on with your outfit? <laughs> First of all, these jeans are like riding so hard into my crotch it like hurts. Are they too small or is your <laughs> vagina no, too just, big? No, it's just I think I have them pulled up. They're, they're weird jeans to sit in. You know, like, like those, they're, they're almost like dots on the on the crotch of your thing. Yeah, oh. the, the grommet. Dude, 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 dude. Yeah. 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 And then also, um, I have gaffing tape uh, on the inside of my bra uh, <laughs> because you could, I don't know, see my whole wonderland through this. Oh. It's a sheer bra. It's a sheer shirt. Nice. You chose this. I know. <laughs> I Daniel, know. how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm on a pod. This yeah. is amazing. This is great. Yeah, what's what's going on with any of you? I like your sweater. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, well, it's thank very you. Bachelor inspired. Right. Oh, the rose? rose? The holes. Have the you holes. been keeping up with The Bachelor? The Golden Bachelor? I literally got a new lease on life through that show. Like, oh. it's just lovely. Oh. Like, life continues. Like, life is long, you know? Like, yeah. if you're lucky. Like, life is... Yeah. Like a long thing and to stay like present to it and alive in it and active to it to do experiences. I mean, it's just so inspiring. I love that, dude. That makes me think of before we get into this rewatch, um, I had this strange moment in my life, but it was one of those of life continuing. So <laughs> my grandmother, uh, uh, who's no longer with us. Mm -hmm. Love you, grandma. But um, she uh, she had lost like one of her husbands. Uh, you know, he had passed like years before. And then, like, she started to date again, like, late into her 70s, I think. Late mm. 70s, early 80s. Like, she, and, and this man, he's still out there. Dom, I love you. Um, she started to date this, this man, this, like, uh, this, like, 80 fucking nine-year-old man. <laughs> like, like and, 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 yeah, I got to, like, see this new relationship with these grown grown people mm. kind of bloom pretty innocently although it was was a little weird um i was at my aunt's in pennsylvania and i was sleeping no on, i was sleeping on the couch <gasps> no and and they were like finishing up like they were over with my family but then like everyone went to bed including me on the couch and like they were still like in the living room area like yeah hold on <laughs> they weren't <laughs> They weren't spry young. Uh, they, he's hearing some creaking. The walkers just jamming on the ground. Like they're both using one walker. <laughs> they're they're walkering. They're sharing. The, <laughs> oh, they. Man. It was way more innocent than that. I think we like come back around to innocence, you know. Aww. But but I, I it was kind of awkward. But I was like rooting for it. But was I just heard them like kind of like finishing up their little like date at night, Aww, like with sweet. like. Little sweet, because all of a sudden it was just them. You know, when you're entertaining everybody, it's different. But all of a sudden it was just them, and I'm asleep. No, but, but Grandma, I was in the room. <laughs> um, but they they're like finishing up their little date and like talking all cute, and I think like having like little smooches and like like it was just so pure, but so cringe at the same time. But I just let it happen and tried right. to close my eyes because yeah. I'm like, you you get you get that connection, Grandma. You you Aww. get it. Oh, oh I yeah. Love that. So life does continue. It does. It was proof. I was like, oh, damn. Wow. You could yeah. start a relationship now? That's, I would have, I would have. 
I know. Written that, that shit that's up. That's what I mean. Packed it up. People yeah. who are still that open, I have to think, are on a pretty right track. Yeah. Hmm. yeah it was beautiful. They got, they got married. It was all Even thing. if that's a short track that they have left. <laughs> hey, man. God bless. Wow. Um, rewatching. Rewatching, gonna, yes. New episode. We're going to discuss a little rewatch uh, for those of you uh, listeners, watchers. Uh, sometimes we watch Ned's episodes and talk about them. Not all the time. I did. You watched this one? I did. Amazing. Nice. Okay, nice. the episode is episode 13, part <gasps> one. This We're getting close to the end of season, season one. one. The season episode one, we're is Emergency Drills, yeah. written by Rick Grohl, directed by Fred Savage. Oh, yeah. What a great last name, Grohl. I know, Rick Grohl. Grohl. Um, all right. So it here's Rick rolled. Yeah. Uh -huh. So here's what's happening uh -huh. in this episode. Yes. Emergencies are going to be popping up all day when the kids least expect it. Basically, drills. like we compiled all the emergency drills uh -huh. in James K. Polk into this one day event. And Mr. Monroe is telling the kids, like, emergencies are going to be drop dropping when you least expect it. You got to be ready. Pay attention. No one cares. He's saying he's teaching bare awareness. Which is no one ridiculous. cares. Which is ridiculous. I mean, the school must have been in California or Montana <laughs> and he, or something. He says, like, bears enter our backyards all the time. You need to listen. Like, yeah. They don't. Only in certain bears areas. Happen. You know? Bears, bears happen. Bears happen. That was the line. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyways, the kids don't give a shit. The boys are excited about Chandra's party later. Shout out Chandra. Marquis yes. Brown, who Brown. came on this pod. You can check out her episode. Damn, that woman's beautiful. Oh, um, my awesome. word. Glowing. I mean, just, just oh, oh, you God. feel it. <laughs> Inside and out. God, I feel but like she made out. my skin better. Oof, you know yeah. what I mean? Just by being in proximity. Made me want to like Definitely. moisturize or I something. Know. I was so, like, like, I gotta right? take care of my right? fucking skin yeah. or something. You're gorgeous. Okay, anyways. Um, the boys are super excited about Chandra's party. Gonna be the best party of the year. Mose is gonna skip it because she got a zit. Yeah. Got a bad zit on her face. Yep. So she's hiding it the whole episode. Hiding I love it. how she tells us, um, but I, I have, uh, what, Mount Blemish, whatever she calls yeah, it. Mount and Blemish. we come up and we're like, oh, let's see it. Exactly. We're, <laughs> we're friends. Excited. We're like, show me. Show me your wound. Show me, show me them zits. Um, so Ned is supposed to ask Susie to the party, but he keeps getting interrupted by these drills, earthquake drill, tornado drill, all this you shit. You did such a good job of making it look like the wind was going at you. Hey, thanks. Oh, like, for real? Thanks. That, that was, was wild good. That was fun. Thanks. Because <laughs> yeah. you keep get in, getting interrupted because you're trying to go talk to Susie. Yeah, I'm trying to ask her to the party, but then the emergency So they had like a tornado drill or something? A tornado drill with a giant like wind Twister fan, drill, yeah. And I'm trying to it's run towards her <laughs> and I'm like stuck in place because yeah. yeah no oh, it, and it, while Seth is macking on her at the yes, time yeah yes it's it's like the moonwalk but for the front walk like yeah, that, yeah. that's what you were doing the front wind it was walk. it was just seamless have you seen these dudes on fucking TikTok who do that in place they do that running shit oh, in place yeah. oh One that thing's cool too what's but, but, the what's the foot uh, there's a name for it the uh, sliding foot uh, thing are you deaf uh, yeah that shit's cool uh, yeah, as hell yeah. but I'm talking about there was this guy that would do this he would run in place but make it look like he could change his speed yeah, make it look it. like he's running he's super a fast professional and slow it down now. He's a professional boxer. Yeah, he's been get, racking up some wins. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, shout out, shout out to you. To you, that shit's fire. But yeah, that was fun. Okay, Cookie wants to actually be ready for emergencies. Mm -hmm. yep. He's like, I'm not going to be able to get out. These kids aren't paying attention. Yeah. So he goes to Gordy, who uh, in prepared. this episode is like a fucking apocalypse prepper. Right. Mm -hmm. His his janitor closet has become you know goods and all sorts of uh oh yeah cheese puffs cheese yeah. puffs all sorts of things to survive an emergency the right. emergency survival locker and he even has emergency soda yeah all this stuff um but that's not what cookie is after cookie wants a way out of the school uh -huh. so cookie and gordy team up to create tunnels yeah. in the school to get uh, gordy's out gordy's like oh i think i know a way to do it are you thinking what i'm thinking and then cookie's like oh an elaborate system of tunnels that lead to the outside from every room in school and he's like, uh, no, I was thinking, he was thinking something more simple, but yeah, yeah. yada, yada. And so we're digging through the schools. So. Yeah, I loved that for you. That that um, that shot where he's actually breaking through the, that was like hall. real. I like, oh, yeah, I mean, it was like a plaster wall. Oh, I, yeah, right, right, right. But like you had one <laughs> shot to get through that or one no? Shot, yeah. One shot, to get through, yeah. yeah. That was like that real. That shit opened. Right. Yeah, pickaxe and. Yeah, go. some of it he did with his hands. Mm -hmm. I loved I loved seeing Cookie and Gordy and some high drinks together. It was oh just yeah, fun. it was it great. Was it was great. I love teaming up with Darren for anything. Anything. Man's amazing. So then Ned helps Mose with her zit. Mm -hmm. How again? 
Um, I give tips on zit. So th these were actually funny. Good job, Rick. These are funny. Uh, if you need a quick fix for a face invader, a skin reaper, or a cheek freak, check out these tips. And it was like ice it, right? Makeup, like you know, just take care of your zit. Um, but then Mo shows it, and it's not that big of a deal. That that's not an eight point zero on the zitker scale, or like a one point three. Mm -hmm. um, so you chill out about your zit and you're ready to go to the party. Ned asks Susie out and she says yes, but then a bear terrorizes the school and the gang <laughs> runs and hides in Gordy's closet. Gordy takes his tranquilizer prepper gun to go stop the bear. Turns out the bear was just Mr. Monroe and the other teachers teaching all the kids a lesson about not paying attention and that bears happen. Um, and the gang gets stuck in Gordy's prepper closet yeah. and Gordy accidentally tranquilizes himself. So he's out and mm -hmm. they can't go to the party. Yeah. And that's our episode. Does he end up Emergency tranquilizing drills. the bear or not? He does. Yeah. He shoots himself <laughs> and then in a oh, yeah. tranquilizing <laughs> stupor. Right. Yeah. When, shoots when he's Monroe. like, right. When the yeah, thing has already been whatever. He's like, you should have seen your face or whatever. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. Um, <laughs> lots of great. Lots of great bits. Great in this. moments. Yeah, lots of great moments. In this Lindsay, episode. you had the moment where you were blocking the zit with a book, right? And um, uh, he's like, uh, "Hey, you, you can't, um, you can't do any. You won't be able to do any of your schoolwork. Uh, you can't do anything holding a notebook uh, to, to your, your face." face. And she's like, uh, "Yeah, I can. Watch this." And she takes it. Uh, she leaves the book there, and it just hangs. She's like, "Look, look at me. I'm in a box." <laughs> yeah, we oh got God, the box is getting smaller. <laughs> like, it was great. We got some nice miming from you. That was nice. Yeah, that cool. was funny. <laughs> That was a funny bit. Good stuff. I liked it. Yeah. Good, good miming. Did you practice? Of course not. Yeah. Just just said, I got it. Yeah. First try. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. we use those horrible dummies again in this episode. <laughs> um, uh, Gordy and Cookie are like drilling and he's like, oh yeah, all we got to do is drill this hole down through the ground. And I'm like, hey, aren't we on the second floor? And he's like, yeah, why? <gasps> uh oh. And then we yeah. drop on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. With oh, the funny ass dummies. Yeah. Good times. Um, yeah, that 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 was just great. It was a silly um, episode. Uh, do you guys remember uh, emergency drills from school? Ooh, it, I do remember them. I do remember them, but it, it was always a blur. I remember my first emergency drill that I can recall was like in first grade, and they would line us up. Well, see, there were two different ones. In Mississippi, we didn't really have earthquakes. Right. I think we we did like one drill did, once. Did you do tornado drills? We did tornado we would do, all the time. Same, like we Georgia, like just south of Tornado Alley, southeast. Yeah. But there are tornadoes in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. they do tornado it's in drills? Tornado Alley. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of tornado drills, but I could never remember which one. Like if it, if an earthquake comes, I don't know whether to get under the desk or to go stand under the freaking. Oh, I still don't know. I don't. Yeah, I'm like, hey. I'm, Wait, isn't I'm out of didn't they like change that? Like the doorway now isn't the yeah. Right isn't the place? Same yeah, they thing? kind of they they man. There, <laughs> <laughs> there was an earthquake during the pandemic uh, at like midnight, and I was like in my boxers with my cat, and and it was like a bigger earthquake than I felt in LA in a long time. Like it was. Shook. I remember that. During and the my pandemic. house is not. My house clearly was built with fucking toothpicks. Like, not sturdy. Like the yeah. whole thing was shaking. Whoa. And and I was just there like. Holding your baby? Holding my cat. Oh, okay. Just like, I don't know what to do right now. Like, I don't actually know what <laughs> I'm supposed to do. And I went on this, like, research of, like, what should, should do I go outside? Do I, under a door, under my bed? Man, all I found on the internet, it was kind of just, like, if there's no big shelves above you, stay on your bed. Oh. In all my research, it was like the door's questionable, under the bed is sometimes questionable, outside's dangerous because she could be she falling, could fall, right? right? So we used to jump in the tub. Was, was Has that been? They were telling they us didn't, that the They didn't say shit about the tub in there, but oh. maybe a tub could be good. At my home, I remember we had a horrible tornado. I mean, it was ripping shingles off. I mean, I guess all tornadoes kind of do that. Blow, <laughs> blowing windows out like... A horrible tornado. It was like wind in a circle. You mean a regular tornado? <laughs> go on, go on, this tornado go was horrible. <laughs> but um, I just remember it was like we had a bunch of my cousins had come into town in the Mississippi and we all piled into this like hallway and whoever could get in the tub, I guess the most sacred members of the family, the babies, you guys hang out in the tub. Gather the babies in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You stand watch. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> The tub kind of makes sense, even for a tornado, it makes sense. Yeah, like you're like in there. I don't know. All right. I, I actually, um, so I actually feel like I've told this story on the pod, so I'm not going to tell it. What, which was it? I'll tell you. 
Um, my mom worked nights on the weekends and I would be home alone on Saturday and Sunday and the tornado drill went, or the tornado alarm went off in our, um, play, like in, in, in the town. Mm. And, um, I remember being like, it was probably like eight and I just remember running down to my, um, basement and the most guttural of all screams, cause I d- didn't know what to do as a kid and I didn't know my mom was going to be okay cause she was at work. And oh. I just remember being like, ah! like so yeah. confused, but so like, I'm going to die and my mom's already dead. Oh, yeah. it was awful. Yeah. Then pain. she ended up coming through the door like 30 minutes later. But I was just like, I, w- I was just like so traumatized. She's like, you want to, sure. it was the day before my birthday. She goes, you want to open a birthday present? And I just remember being like, why are we doing all this normal shit when trauma's happened? This has happened a couple Dang. times now. What's happening? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think <sighs> you've told that on the podcast. That was awful. That's tough. This episode is brought to you by Mood. Oh, I'm hot right now, man. I'm sick and tired of this podcast, man. Oh, man. They got me looking like a fool out there on social media. Yeah. And it's your fault. I should have never answered that call, man. Oh, it's still a podcast. You just had to be mad. You got to try Mood, brother. Bro, I get it. I'm in a mood. I get it. I'm in a mood. No, no. You got to try Mood. What are you talking about? What are you th- I'm talking about mood products, gummies, flower vapes. That sounds illegal. No, mood is known for their federally legal THC, and now they're adding their most potent product to the lineup yet, introducing hemp-based THCA flower, the future of legal THC. See, I've been making a lot of music recently. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I took their energized mood, their creative mood, their euphoric mood. Days went great. Today, I was feeling stressed. So I took a chill mood, and now I'm feeling great. You wanna change your mood? I wanna change my mood. Okay, buddy, come with me. Try Mood's new THCA flower today, and for a limited time, get a 20% discount on your first order and a free THCA pre-roll. Go to hellomood.com and use promo code NEDS. That's hello, M-O-O-D, dot com. Use promo code NEDS and get that 20% discount and a free THCA pre-roll. Can, yeah. do, do you recall, can you refresh? How did that tornado alarm sound? Do you remember? Is it burning Dang. your memory? It's that one. It's that one. Like, yeah, and, and the fact that it can sound all through your tap, it's like, <laughs> yeah, what an eerie and sound. one other tornado drill, I had to run to the basement of a McDonald's for an hour, my dad, with my dad, mm-hmm. and he'd like take me out for like whatever his visitation, and then we had to go downstairs to McDonald's, and that's when I first like stopped trusting McDonald's, because I was like, this is gross. You saw the basement? Oh, I was like, this is what? gross. <laughs> like this? This isn't food. Dang, it's like when you pull a hottie from the club and then you go back home and you're like, whoa, you living like this? What, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> One of the best episodes of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Yo. was when they literally were in that earthquake or emergency drill or whatever and she just keeps taking things off like her eyelashes, oh, her fingernails, he her weave. Yeah. Like, like, everything uh. starts coming out and he's, what? <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I like that we all lived in tornado. Like that's a very specific. You- tornadoes are very uh, it's specific to a region. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, you know, sure. California never have to worry about a tornado. Right. Never, not once. Do, have you guys ever pulled a fire alarm? No. Or done anything I hated like that? Kids. Never. Did you that. ever? Okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you were one. No, we definitely pulled the alarm at that guy Jordan's house, and he threatened to send us to jail. Um. But then we all realized, like, he was just a drug dealer to children. <laughs> um, well, that, that's going to bring a little bit of heat to him, though. Like, right? Yeah, that's why he never that, That's why he deserves a story it. to another time. <laughs> um, or have you ever called 911? I've called 911. I've called 911. Oh, this brings me back to... Oh, wait. I did. Yes, because I didn't know the number to animal control. Um, and they gave it to me later. Uh, so I ended up having to call that one. Bear awareness, guys. I went to Big Bear, and we talked about this, I think, with Hutch, right? And there was a bear that came out on this uh, movie that I was producing and acting in. And, you know, we had to make sure everybody's safe. We all run inside. I left some garbage, like, outside. And that attracts bears. Don't leave garbage outside when you're in Big Bear. And there are big bears in Big Bear. Um, but so everybody runs inside, and I'm like, oh, God, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do. 
and I thought about this episode where he says, look, if you run into a bear, just call animal control. They will come and tranquilize it. Not in real life, guys. <laughs> in real life, you're going to call about that bear and the police are going to laugh at you and say, look, maybe call animal control. No, I asked for animal control and they said, why do you need animal control? You're in Big Bear. And I'm like, no, I just give me the number because, I mean, you know, I got to make sure my set's safe. Then I call animal control and they laugh in my face. Yeah. And they said, oh, uh, okay, yeah, you're in Big Bear. There's yeah. going to be bears. You're yeah, in their, you know, territory. Yeah, when you told me that story, I fucking laughed. Because I'm like, <laughs> you called the cops for a bear? A bear? It, it was Like, tough. book them. Book them. Come on, come get Send this Send the man. team. <laughs> gotta book them. We got them. Like, it's a bear in a forest. <laughs> it's like, that's, Go inside. That's where <laughs> wow. bears are. Just stay inside. Wow. Yeah, yeah that made I me laugh that. really hard, dude. <laughs> Dude, I gotta, I gotta call somebody. I was like, but I didn't want anyone to get hurt on my watch. I'm like, somebody do something. Yeah, but somebody like, gets eaten by a do. bear on your watch. That, that changes the temperature. You're for never life. producing <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah never yeah. producing again. Man. Uh, I do. It's crazy <laughs> watching like those videos. Like, first of all, I can't believe people when in these situations. I'm glad they do because I can watch it. But I can't believe they pull out their phone and film film the whole thing. Oh, first thing I but did. I, I've seen many <laughs> videos on TikTok. Of a person like on a major hike, like a big trail, there's a guy being uh, walked down by a mountain lion. Oh, and it's going, oh. ka, ka, ka. yo, that was wild, wild, because it's for a while. He's backing up for a long, long time. time, but he's also filming, which I'm like, no, but he I'm got him to go film. away. How did he, he get did. him to go away? I mean, he was he was still being big. He was still looking at him. He was like throwing like a little rock and, and just, Ooh, but that, that cat agility was going, boy. Ka, 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 ka. No, a cat will fuck mm. you up. My house cat could kill you. <laughs> like, Bruh. a mountain lion? Jesus. Uh, but bears, too. There's I've seen videos with bears where people are a doing the same one. thing. Yes. And they forget that the bear, like, bears are great climbers, so they're just standing yes. on their little porch, and they're like, oh, so cute, so cute. idiots are yelling at brown bears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't, hey, bear. Gonna... Hey, yeah. bear. I mean, you got you to gotta do something. Aren't there brown bears you're supposed to just say nothing? That's what they say, but, I, dude, there's no rhyme. Or, like, I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all. Like, you, I think you do instinctually want to. You, the thing you don't do is run. Turn around and run, because mm -hmm. now you're prepped. Triggers that yeah, now you're fight or flight. <laughs> um, but there's something about, like, figuring out if you need to just fucking sit there and have them hopefully sniff you and leave, or be big and make noise, be loud, Ooh. but not too aggressive that it triggers that thing. Like, no, frightening. Ooh. You do not want to see a bear that's interested in you. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Have you ever seen a shaved bear? <laughs> they're they're actually a lot skinnier than we know. There's like a lot of fur. I've never seen shaved a shaved bear. Shaved bears are ugly. I'm saying it like it's a thing. Yeah, like a shaved shaved bear. House. But a bear that... Have you seen an owl without its feathers? Oh, they're ugly. They're ugly. <laughs> but it's kind of like these bears. Bears actually have the build of kind of like a dog. Look up like a... Yeah, look up shaved a bear. Shaved bear. <laughs> a guys, bear with no hair, but... What was that one story bear. where the girl was being like mauled by bears, but she kept calling her mom like during the mauling? Oh. What? Huh? And then, like after a while, she <laughs> said, "They're mauled. taking me now." This They're is more horrifying. That's <laughs> more horrifying. They're scarier. Uh, They're not yeah. smaller. They're scarier. <laughs> They're straight. This They're is straight. a straight guard. What the <laughs> fuck is this, Daniel? <laughs> that is a know? werewolf what? hybrid. Guys, if you want to see what <laughs> we're seeing, just Google. Hybrid. Just Google into. <laughs> In you the Google images, do bears after shaved this. bear. We got to put this up in the edit, man. Good lord. Yeah, Shaved a, bear. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Um, like that's what's under there. <laughs> no, bears are frightening. They like, run fast. God. They climb fast. There's nothing that we can do to stop them. No, the physical realm is there. This yeah, guy got yeah. a fade? <laughs> he got a nice fade. <laughs> That barber effed him up. Oh, that barber did it <laughs> dirty. No wonder he's trying to kill people. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, um, man. Wild, dude. <laughs> he thinks yeah. every human is a barber. And he's out for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't ever... I love hiking. I love the outdoors. The thought of encountering a bear is horrifying. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When I was in uh, Montana filming, <laughs> I think I told you guys, like, I've never been in California. We're pretty good for bear. You probably saw a black bear in, in big bear. Like oh, yeah. you're kind of all right, even though, yeah, don't be an idiot. Um, but grizzly bears are the obvious ones that uh, you need to watch out for mm -hmm. because they're massive and powerful and what they will name. eat you. Grizzly. grizzly. And have bear. you seen them? They're fucking huge. They're yoked. Um, and they stand up. Yeah. Whoa, Judge, you're big. Um, but so in Montana, I didn't realize that. So the first day I kind of had some mm. time off. I was like, oh, I'm going to go on a hike. 
And I go to this area to go hike, and then I see these signs that are like, grizzly bear country, do not hike alone. You must have bear spray or bear bangers. Like, you must have something like, don't do it. And I was like, oh, fuck. Guess I'm not going on a hike today. I need to go get bear spray. And I like texted some people and was like, oh, fuck, I got to go buy that. And it's like 60 bucks, this whole thing. Right. Um, so I was like, not going on a hike today. But there's like a little stream over to the side. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I'll, I'll at least go say hi to this little stream, get a little prayer on. Mm. Go, go see the stream. Mountain's beautiful. I'm like, oh, that's lovely. And then I look up the stream and there's this like rock in the sun and it's got this weird texture. And I'm like, that's cool. And I'm walking up close to it. I'm like, oh, this fluffy, beautiful rock. Why is it fluffy? Why is it fluffy? And then I get closer and it was a dead elk in the river. And then I look to my left and there's just a pile of white bones. And when I tell you, my body moved before my brain could process. I was running, grown man. I was running before I could even think run. Dang. Like, I saw the elk, saw the bones, and I was sprinting to the car. <laughs> and I got close to the car before I actually caught up. And I yeah. like, I literally laughed out loud because I was like, that was a funny emotion. Like, I haven't felt that. I haven't Jeez. felt my body make me run. <laughs> Dang, before you said it run. Was, it was primal, dude. Wow. My body was like, nope. <laughs> I literally hate envisioning that, dude. I feel like a, like, I, oh my God. Dude, like, I it hate was, that. Like, it was, I felt a, I felt a Terror. fear in my fucking gooch. You right, know? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. right. In my taint. The yeah. core of my ah! humanity oh was afraid. Oh my yeah. God. You feel that muscle fatigue. It's like, why is my gooch? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on down there? <laughs> Bro, that was, that was <laughs> wild. Was Primal fear, as wow. they say. Dang. And yeah, Great and, movie. And then eventually I got the bear spray, but I've never felt so vulnerable on a hike because it was May as well. So we, this is like, this is when they're maybe the hungriest. It's like after winter. So they're going to be hungry. That's when Goldilocks was set. <laughs> it was set in the month of May for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so on the, even on my next hike, I didn't see any bears, but like I was by myself with this bear spray now, but I'm like... How oh, you went and got that bear spray immediately. How, to, how effective is bear spray? I saw I don't it. Know. It'll stop a human in their tracks. <laughs> Dude, I there's a video of this woman who's like all oh, huffing, puffing, and she's going to go, and I guess you go beat this lady up. She's been talking all this mess. She's been talking all this mess. <laughs> the girl just turns around. <laughs> with pepper spray? No, Pre with bear, bear spray. spray. Like a big old tall bottle. And it sprays like it's, it's way, it, the stream is way <laughs> bigger from bear spray. So this woman's like, like drenched in bear spray and she was all up here but she just gets deflated she doesn't even go oh i got spray she just <laughs> <laughs> turns around and starts walking the other way and goes <laughs> 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 and just walks walks away i mean yeah bear spray looks dangerous <laughs> yeah <laughs> you guys should we try to pepper spray each other i was absolutely thinking not. the same thing absolutely not i agree no, we should do it apparently no. that's one of democracy the... devon no yeah <laughs> not, yes not yeah. with my eyes yeah you you don't have democracy over my it's eyes okay, we'll spray we'll, it in our anus we'll sneak it we'll sneak <laughs> hey oh why not? it's why just like diarrhea <laughs> that might be very interesante <laughs> might, <laughs> might finally get me into some stuff that i've been hovering around, hovering you know? around. <laughs> no thank you you gotta be a little curious <laughs> Anal although, bleaching, if you will. Although <laughs> one time I was in Mexico and oh. and I was <laughs> got pepper spray and I was with and I was with some friends after uh, you know maybe some uh, beautiful medicinal cactuses we were taking cacti oh. and uh, we yeah, having a beautiful time. But then we're all sitting around and fucking around and um, and uh, my friend goes, I have these crazy chili eye drops. You want to try them? Like like I have these medicinal quote unquote. Chili eye drops. Like, you want to put some shit that burns the fuck out of your eyes, but, but cleanses your spirit? And uh, Wait, 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 wait. No, there's got to be a better way. Oh, there's for sure a better way. You don't <laughs> yeah. have to say yes to this. This is more oh, for people like me. Fuck. I mean, no, no, Who bro. are like, yeah. <laughs> no, did you do this? I did this um, just for the sake of doing it. You know, sometimes you just do things to do them. And? and uh, holy shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> These were chili pepper eye drops, and you put it in, and it's just pain. <laughs> it's just white, blinding pain for uh, a, a few minutes. Like, but but he wasn't wrong. Once the pain <laughs> led up, I did feel pretty clear. 
<laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, once once they let me out of prison, I felt really good. But it is kind of like that. It's like a voluntary like <laughs> suffering that's like almost purging. Because I was just like, oh, and they were like, like, there is a silliness to it. Like, I was laughing. They were laughing. I knew like, oh, let me do this because everyone's going to be amused. And I so mean, am I. no retinal damage. No, I trusted. I trusted this man enough to know he wasn't going to give me something that was going to cause permanent damage. Mm. Whatever he had, whatever the tincture was, I knew they weren't like, it wasn't going to permanent. How I trust him. fingers am I holding up, <laughs> <laughs> well, you drove here. You drove here. Uh, <laughs> you um, drove here. No, that shit was wild. White searing pain. And just yet like you won't. God, God. And you Damn. won't pepper spray any part of your body. No, because I've done this. Basically, what I'm saying is I've done this, oh. and Yo, don't need to do it again. I got, got one. It. I got one. We'll sit the pepper spray in the middle of the table. We'll point it facing up. Roulette. It. <laughs> yes, whichever way the wind blows, they're gonna get it. Terrible. I say we try it, man. Absolutely not. Let's let's let the viewers decide. Guys, do you want us to pepper spray no. ourselves? Let us know in the comments. No, let us but know. we could eat some super spicy shit. That's always we'll fun. We okay. could get one of those crazy I'll, like Carolina Reaper some. peppers and just uh, suffer. I'm with it. I feel that's like that fun. might eat a hole in my intestine. I that's that's the big fear of mm. mine with the spices is is the the poops. Yeah. What's going on inside? But Dude, I'm, 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 I'm going to be eyes. really honest with you. <laughs> but Even that day in Mexico, I said, let me put these chili peppers eat, in my fucking eyeball. Damn. Even when I put like chili peppers on pizza, that hurt so bad it wasn't even funny. Uh, oh, like <laughs> I had been railed in the ass and not the right Damn. way. I was literally, like I had to put a washcloth that was cold in between there. Oh my like, God. Like it burned me bad. Been there. And it wasn't even that spicy. You might and be I lactose was like, intolerant. I was like, holy shit. What, 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 what? <laughs> no, what does that have to do with my head? It's bleeding. <laughs> pizza. No, 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 no. It wasn't the pizza. It was the, it was the flakes. You're talking about Just out. red pepper flakes? My asshole. <laughs> burning ring of fire. No, I had to put down, something down, in there. Down. It was horrible. And I'm like, how do people fire. eat these Cheetos every day? Hot or sauce, yeah, hot, yeah. How? I, I eat I wasn't Frank's ready. Red Hot every single so day. It's literally the crushed pepper they send you with the pizza. On every hey. single meal. And Frank's Red Hot, I have loved you my entire life. But do you- And I'll love you for the rest of it, okay? Do you remember your asshole burning when you ate these things? There have been times when I ate like extremely spicy That's what spicy I mean. It should be wings. extreme amounts, yeah. not a little bit of pepper on a thing. Oh my god! So you it feel was like that's just horrible. your body makeup, your chemical makeup. It just so. Do you avoid spice at all costs? Now? I mean, kind of. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't yeah. want that to hurt so bad. <laughs> of course, yeah. I usually love I w- shitting. So. I wonder how everyone does after hot ones. Like how every oh, yeah. person after hot ones, like great time on the show. You I'll send you my medical no, bill. You know that's some. Yeah. Fucking pain the next yeah, few no days. Yeah, no way. Couldn't, couldn't not. Like, sorry, no, no street cred is worth all of that anus pain. A burning anus is tough. I mean, you, you use that thing more than you know. It's sensitive skin. <laughs> right. Sensitive skin down there. Real right? sensitive. Real sensitive. You know? The first episode of Howard Stern that I ever watched, there was this porn star talking about how she was going to take 50 people back shots. First one being her husband, last one being her husband. And I just remember thinking, What? <laughs> What? She goes, definitely have to sit on one of those bubbles afterwards. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then I stopped watching Howard Stern because it made me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, that was some weird stuff. Yeah. Howard Stern was weird stuff. Weird man. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Daniel, you said you wanted to model this podcast after Howard Stern. I did because of his uh, cultural impact. And I also feel like we can uh, take on some interesting topics from, from guests. But we'll, we'll see where things go. We'll see where this thing goes. You mm-hmm. know? This is a health. Mm-hmm. This has been a healthier direction, like letting it all kind of unfold for us. I feel like we're in a nice place where we're not going overly extreme, and but we're also not, you know, too too um, reserved with what we're doing. Yeah, we're kind of feeling it out, man. We're letting. We're kind of exploring what all of this is with each other and with you guys, the audience. It's kind mm-hmm. of fun. It it's is. been a fun it, process. It, it's been super fun. And so yeah, fun. and it's not fucking manufactured. There's no like big brain like here's our here's what we here's don't have story. a plan. I'll tell you, that. <laughs> there's no plan. There's no agenda Dang. here. <laughs> we don't know what we're gonna talk yeah. about, which is half the nerve. Some of the time is like, oh god, what are we gonna talk about? Um, like you just have that off drills. Day. Yeah. Thing. Um. Any anything else? What well, now? I do because it's a thing. Like kids now are facing like. Dude, the yeah. school shooter thing, and I, I now that I think about it, in co- that didn't come for me until college. Um, you you practice those in college? 
No. <laughs> practice what? No, what I'm saying the drill. Shooters. The drill. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's it, what you practice. Was, they had us do like a little drill where okay, this is what you need to do in case there is an active shooter. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. So so back in the day before this it was, was a such vague. a fad, it was a vague. It was called an intruder drill. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you remember these? Like mm -hmm. we definitely had I, these, I, which was I, an intruder drill, which is basically like the front office on the PA, like had like a code word they mm -hmm. would say, like so and so, sa 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 sa, and everyone would know that's the yeah. code for intruder in the building. And it was like a turn off the lights, lock the door, Teacher locks the door, yeah. be still, basically. Um, but it was so vague, even though that at the time is for sure like. If a dangerous person comes in, we need the kids sort of prepped to handle it. But it wasn't what I'm sure it is now. I don't know. I haven't talked to kids. But what I'm sure it is now is not a vague intruder drill. It is an active Pacific, yeah. shooter drill. And here's what you need to do for real fucking reasons. Because turns out in this country, it happens all the goddamn time. It's an acceptable time. social issue. That's, yeah. that's just what like human our trafficking. actions are telling us. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, up. when it's those up. things become acceptable, social, like there, there is no yeah. morality anymore. Like, yeah, it's, we can I, just exist with those things also existing at such a huge, like, yeah. Such, I, I can't believe kids need to have that real. It's a rational fear. Yeah, while going to school, that like it might happen, and I can't imagine the. Because you know how kids are. Our episode does it. Our episode shows like kids are fucking around during emergency totally. drills. Yeah. Like, you know, because we're not taking it seriously because there's not an emergency. There's no stakes. There's no stakes. So we're, oh, I fucking drill, fire drill. They take you outside. You're fucking mm -hmm. around with your friends, right? Yeah, like, that's it. That, that's what it is. But like, I feel like the active shooter drill, they probably, I don't know. I would imagine there's some seriousness being taken Jesus. or not or whatever. Frightening, man. But Frightening. It's, it's tough. We're putting, you know up against these you know like phenomenon like nature phenomenon yeah yeah yeah. a human being is almost more dangerous than that you yeah know? so it's, it just sucks that we have to fear uh humans yeah that that man that shit's frightening yeah i mean i i would much rather a tornado do y'all believe yeah. in manchurian candidates i don't know what that is what people were propped up to um what uh, make like like basically who crime. have like been altered or something or have a chip in their brain. And when it gets activated, you do the mission the that thing, you were sent yeah. here oh. to do. Like Den there was that there movie was with movie. Denzel Washington yeah. and then the, the original. Right. So I, I haven't been, studied been enough of that. Exa I haven't, I haven't studied yeah. enough to have any idea. I don't know. I've, How just, to I've just always something. like, just always wondered like, why do things happen in groupings? Like, have you heard of another school shooting that's been like so big? Like, like I sometimes feel like, that, this is a conspiracy theory interested in me that the <laughs> that the government that the powers that be orchestrate certain things in such a way that now you have the people asking for their guns to be taken away oh uh, i don't believe that what well, no I, I believe that the government w will see the value in people not having their guns C certain uh i just feel like they're gonna make the public like they're going to spin the narrative in such a way that the the, the public will always be doing their own disservice because of how it's spun. I think that sort of happens. Through propaganda. Anyway. Propaganda exists. I feel like it happens anyway. Yeah. Just the thought, with most conspiracies for me, it falls apart when I actually sit and think about fucking humanity. The thought that there's some grand conspiracy at the top that is so well organized that they can do these things that n no one knows is the truth and everyone perceives as yeah, something else in order to achieve a specific objective of deceit. Life to me is just so much more complicated and just chaotic than that. Like actually you're organizing those things. You're talking about that big they, that one yes, at the top. Yes, you're the talking big about they. does the government want to sway its population? I'm talking about- She's saying, is there a Manchurian candidate? Are these the school Manchurian? shooters- being programmed to that, do it. That I say I, I cannot get behind that specifically because I don't know enough about it. But I just, I'm not saying it's not the right. Truth. I don't know. I just it 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 usually I can't I can't actually see it playing out that way as much as uh, a lot of uh, sick isolated people with sick fantasies for whatever reason access to guns. There's a million reasons for it. Yeah. It's not one thing. It's not just the guns. It's all the fucking reasons, and they see others doing it, all and then repeat, they want to yeah. do it. What? Not copycat. copycat. Yeah, I just like don't feel like the government will ever be a victim of timing. Mm. I don't know what that means. No, that's wavy. I, I like what she's saying. Is she saying it's not a coincidence? 
Nothing is a coincidence and the timing of things are not coincidental. I'm telling you the money never loses and it's never at the whim of like, oh, how is the weather this year? How are the people voting? This, that, or (laughs) other. The options they give you are ones that have the same destination, just different ways to get to it. That's that's to me what well, the that, entire ma- the that's what a entire government, government yeah, but, is. but that's just that's just a fact of that's that's not a that's not a hidden conspiracy. They're not doing anything hidden. That's out there in the forefront. That's just called corporate interest. Is like no matter what happens in this country, but, it's it's the business interest that will be looked after more so than but, the the people. But but if you're if if you don't even have uh, respect for people's lives, why wouldn't it be something that sinister? Like if you're letting people die every day because of what you feed corporate them, what you this, that, other. Corporate interest sinister. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like very yeah. sinister in a way that like unites the whole, like the, the 1% are united in this web that literally I think covers the earth. 4% of the population is protecting that uh, 1%. There's a whole bunch of sheep and then there's a whole bunch of people who are trying to like wake it up. Like that to me is what it is. And I think like constant, like uncovering, uncovering, uncovering. Like, I think it is that well of a system put in place. Like the Bible was already, you know, putting that stuff in place, you know, church and state, like that, that government idea of controlling people has been around for so long with access to all the technology they're not giving us access to every bit of money. And like, you literally watch people die in droves. That's more than corporate interest, dude. That's like, ah, that's a conspiracy on life. Like at a certain point, you don't give a quality of life to anybody, and like they're so aware of that. Like to power me, power corrupts. Power does exactly. corrupt. And technology and power. Yeah. yeah. Power really corrupts know. and isolates. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's to me. That's not a hidden thing. That's like out there. But out I mean, there the, de- in the, the details of that agenda affect us every day, and we don't even know we're voting on the details of that agenda. You know what I'm saying? Like to me. It's not as isolated as people I mean, think lobbyists it is. do exist, but that could be for anything. If I want more people to um, celebrate jiggly But lobbyists, can... that's not the truth. That's where you go further into nothingness. Like, lobbyists yeah. are, it's they're, they're still say, propped up lobbyist. by somebody else, too. You I, know? I agree, like, lobbyists are the last people you should trust. They're, that's they're, what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. That's right. what he's saying lobbyists go in and they can get what they want done. It, and and it, they get in because they have millions of dollars and yeah. a single vote. The money. Doesn't. And that's where you like the right. money never loses, yeah. the house never right. loses. Like so. the FDA wouldn't let aspartame in for 17 tries until there became <laughs> enough money behind aspartame to put it in <laughs> our food. Really good. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. so it's like at a certain point, like I don't think you even realize how how the evil like pervades everything. And I I just don't think, especially with a profit run like system with your military industrial complex being the greatest place you put funds, there's something else going on. Like period. Like that's, I can't that's deny I your, uh, your, your, your perspective on that one. I cannot deny your perspective on that one. And that's it folks. <laughs> that is our Ted talk. I mean, Hey, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. The world's an interesting place. You know, I, I hope we can, uh, Actually, it's it's hard. There's there's nothing to really. Uh. Now, nah, for me, I don't know. For I, me, and I'm afraid of the word they. I just exactly. say, be careful. They. I went through a phase in my life where yep. this big they yep. was like making me deteriorate. It was yep. deteriorating my brain, feeling like there was a big puppeteer it, doing. It's that not something. even a they. It's just money. It's oh, just yeah, it's green. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but money. you know what he's talking about. He's talking about the they. They they are doing this. They are doing that. Uh-huh. It's kind of like these general conspiratorial Stay statements. away from they is what I had to start telling myself. Stay yeah. away from they. I don't know. My shit with conspiracies, and like it's not like I get why people go down them, but it's kind of what you were realizing, like the you focusing on the they that is disempowering the world was disempowering you yeah, in yeah. your life. For me, I'm I'm just like, if I don't know for sure what's happening and if i have no way of fucking influencing it then i'm just not gonna give that much fucking energy to it myself like my life exists around me i'm able to impact what i can focus impact on your sphere a little bit yeah. and i'm able to know for sure what i know for sure there's things that get so fucking big and grand and speculative and they based i just don't like going I don't like putting too much energy in my life on that. Not because I, I know if it's wrong or right. I'm just like, ah, 
I, I, yeah. it doesn't seem like, of course, you know, it doesn't and seem like of service to my dude, life. Different things fascinate different people. Yeah. Like yeah, the, the interests that I had while I was high on cocaine and drugs were like so myriad and so mm. maybe not even based in reality, but like mm. the ability to like exist up here, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, like that, that was it. And just like a natural distrust and just, which makes sense. my eyes, oh, like we mistreat everything and yeah, you know, people are no exception. So to me, that's that's something a little more sinister at play than like just like trying to figure out your tax dollars. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's just a uh, unfortunately just a natural part of life and systems is power corrupts most people, um, and people want to hold on to what they have, the mm -hmm. power that they do have. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like, I don't find our government particularly organized in like I, I don't I don't attribute that much ability to conspire as much as it's a lot of people and a system trying to hold up itself and maintain its own fucking power and what that disseminates down to all of us who are affected by their decisions mm -hmm. yeah. fucking sucks because mm -hmm. yeah. it's them in their own selfish interest and it might not be that big of a Consp not that big of like a we're gonna do this as much as it's like fucking Joe being like well I want my fucking bonus and then fucking Rebecca wanting her fucking bonus and so they do, do whatever we need to for do their interests but their decisions have fucking impact down the yeah. line and then we're down here like what the yeah, and, fuck and, and I can't change it because it's your decisions there there's also that um that feeling like like I feel like some people choose the mindset to say I didn't directly commit the crime, so I'm not a criminal. Even though all those papers that you signed, you know, uh, agreeing to this, allowing this, permitting this action that ends up affecting someone downstream, yeah. and maybe killing people downstream, yeah. it's that um, yeah. that apathy at the top mm, that yep. ends up causing mm -hmm. issues. And back to your point about the the Manchurian candidate, I don't know about like you know if if you're talking about people using like some type of psychoactive drugs to make people do mm. something or some da 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 I'm not into all of that so much as because it's not like the military tested psychedelics on our soldiers and you're you're not you're not wrong so it, i just i'm not exactly. well studied on it so i can't talk on it but i don't or that want they to... release gonorrhea without letting the people have oh, access yeah. to Dude, the healthcare. Tuskegee experiment, yes like exactly all that. like our people yeah, for sure like they're doing are, some weird ass shit through... mk ultra like and that's anything. what governments do to populations that they want to subjugate so i wouldn't put anything past the government that's exactly. a fact mm -hmm. uh to the manchurian thing i i don't necessarily feel I don't want to get behind it because I don't know so much about it, but mm -hmm. I will say I don't ever underestimate the power of stupid people. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, sometimes these political motivations, you know, you got some politician up here preaching something and then these other, these people are emboldened, you know, and some smart people are emboldened, but they're like, I'm not going to act on it and do anything stupid, but mm. stupid people, mm. sometimes they do act out the, um, the apathy, like I said, of the mm. people from the top. So that might be the guy who does go and commit a crime. And we think he's a Manchurian candidate, but he's just exactly. someone brainwashed exactly. by this constant right. onslaught of bullcrap. Which also brings me back to sometimes in the hip hop community, within my own community, um, that prevalence of drugs and guns within our community, being able to sway people to that lifestyle. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, poverty has its effects, post-traumatic slave syndrome, all this stuff wow. uh, that afflicts the community. But that is a form of brainwashing that happens and it's as simple as the media and us underestimating the power of idiots who are downstream so you're saying we could all know. be manchurian candidates well yes yes because wow. we're all like media affects us yeah. all it's just an interesting in like ways. thought like yeah. i, I want to go back and like look in the movie and the idea but like yeah that's yeah. there's yeah. a there's a quote that i like which is like don't attribute to malice what you can attribute to stupidity i love that I, there's a <sighs> There's a guy on TikTok who has a beautiful, uh, uh, he says that in his script. I find that to be so much more valuable when I'm assessing these things. Because you're not wrong. There is yeah. evidence that we know now of the CIA doing all sorts of fuck shit in the world. There is evidence of like these things happening. Yeah. And still, I'd, I'm more on the side of don't attribute to malice what you can attribute to stupidity, stupidity. Right. or like yeah. most situations. Right. It's yeah. more likely that someone was fucking being selfish and dumb mm -hmm. yeah. and not aware of their, or not giving a fuck of like the mm. impact. Yeah. Mm. And that's on all political sides too, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Be it MAGA or even BLM, you got people who are like locked in and they are, how, how can I say it? There's a perversion attached yeah. to something. And sometimes the, the motherfucker at the top's crazy too. Right. But 
you know, uh, yeah, people will uh, dive in and add their own spin to things and cause chaos sometimes for what they think they believe in. But it's just because they've been inundated with it in their culture. Mm. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then now we're in a media landscape where like there's uh, yeah. truth and fact is a subjective term now. Right, How? right, right. How? Frightening. How? Right. That's where How? even though I have distrust of institutions, I also don't think the answer is eradicating these institutions entirely. Like, yes, distrust of the mainstream media, media, I have it too. But that doesn't mean I think every single thing that comes out of media is a lie. Like you, media literacy is so hard now hard. because mm. you have hard. to, you can't just throw, just because the institution has given you some distrust doesn't mean you fucking remove it entirely. Right. That's not going if to this create- If a lie, then that's a lie. Right. It's not going to create that, that's a lie. more right. truth. Like what's on the other side of removing some of these institutions might be fucking worse. So it's such a fucked landscape we're in now that technology has changed where like facts are now fucking questioned. Mm-hmm. in all areas someone can say nope i believe something different especially with the internet man oh and you yeah. can just find your channel and get tuned into that where just everybody agrees in. with me oh. i'm only going to these chat rooms it's and they intense just out there the bull crap and you believe it um yeah. let's give let's give tips. Yeah, tips, tips i'm gonna say my tip is if you have never thought about the concept of media literacy information literacy the ability to discern what information uh, is worth weighing and what isn't, like, and how to weigh information and sources. Think about it. Watch videos on media literacy. Watch people talk about it. There's, there's courses. There's lectures. There's people discussing media literacy. And it is so fucking essential right now. Because I'll say, I, we've all had this happen in some form or another. Years ago, uh, after fucking Fukushima, after the, the nuclear reactor in Japan mm-hmm. melted down and they got it all plugged up, Just one night, late at night, um, I was like on Facebook and this thing popped up. And you got to know at night, your ability, um, (laughs) your your prefrontal cortex or whatever is tired. So that's your ability to like use your willpower and discernment. That part of the brain's tired. So late at night, I'm on Facebook and the shit pops up talking about how they are lying about the containment of Fukushima. The Mm -hmm. radioactive nuclear waste is spilling spilling into the Pacific Ocean and is going to reach California in a month. Basically, we're all going to fucking die, is what this post was saying. And it got me, man. It gripped me. And I was like, oh, fuck, man. They're lying, man. They're all (laughs) going to, we're all going to fucking die, man. And I like texted this friend who's like a fucking motivational speaker. I don't know why I thought of him. And I was like, man, we can tout all this fucking happy motivation, self-empowerment bullshit, but the fucking radio, the radiation's (laughs) going to kill us, man. I was like full fucking foil hat. I was going insane over this thing just this one night because I was tired and this fucking Facebook post got me. And when I woke up in the morning, I was like, oh, damn. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, oh, damn. I survived. I I, I survived. And like probably over time, I'm going to find out that all these things this shit is touting is not going to happen. And that's true. We're years after this person saying (sighs) the California coastline is going to fucking melt and all the fish in the ocean are going to die. Didn't happen. Wasn't true. Was there fuck shit at Fukushima? Sure. But was this conspiracy true? No. And it gripped my entire being to the point that I roped another friend into it on his life purpose. Like, this is the problem with media literacy. If you don't have it, you too could be a tinfoil hat wearing me telling your friend that his life purpose is bullshit because you saw a post on Facebook. Yeah. Insane. I mean, so, just yeah. another reason to hate Facebook. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> tough. Speaking tough. of, <laughs> it's tough, man. Um, so that's my tip. I uh, love practice that. and and try and get some media literacy. We need it now. The internet will destroy us without it. Mm-hmm. It'll destroy your brain. Mm-hmm. 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 And also, mm-hmm. watch out for the water and the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. There's sharks in that water. Definitely. Uh, uh, tip. Go ahead. Tip my my tip is just uh, you're, you're a human, all right. Rabbit holes are made for rabbits. <laughs> Don't go down those rabbit holes, guys. I mean, uh, try to focus on the sphere that you you know have a little bit of control of. You know, um, make the change within that community, and a lot of times uh, you'll be able to affect the broader community in that. Love you.
I'm going to say Alice in Wonderland yourself. Shrink down and get down that fucking rabbit hole because that's where all your answers are and that's who where you are is, okay? How you show up to trauma no, and, and emergencies in the world and with other people is how you really show up for yourself and in life. So it's like a very interesting social study. So never forget that you too are evolving and that like you too are, it's not like the conspiracy hits you and now you know what it is. Like your ideas have to evolve along with anything that you sort of conspiracy and like, don't drive yourself crazy with conspiracies. Like really, I mean, there's a certain trust that human beings are good. And I do believe human beings are good. I think money corrupts and that's it. But just remember that like you become a conspiracy theory if you don't keep evolving. Okay. Like you just become that, like that's your whole identity is distrust. So it's like, yeah. You got to be able to trust yourself by continually checking in. <sighs> yeah, don't Dude, that's don't so turn good. it into your identity. That's, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. you go too far into this, without some basis, you will distrust everyone no and anchors. everything. And now you are literally a conspiracy. Like you are conspiring every <laughs> yep. like yep. Dude, you're it now. I'm thinking you're the conspiracy. I'm thinking yeah. about when I when I was going through that rough time. I was on the raw diet, and I was just easily misled, and I was reading a bunch of random stuff. I remember there was just, just this quote that was always in my head, and I feel so bad because I said it to my parents one time. They were trying to console me. They're like, I just don't know what's wrong with them, but we, we got to help them out some way. And I was just fuming about all of the, you the, know, world. the, the world and what it's done. And um, I think my mom said something to me, and I was like, they lie and wait. <laughs> <laughs> they lie and wait. Like, <laughs> like it was like as if they had plotted this whole experience for me. I'm gonna come to the world and experience all this. Da -da 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 -da. And I, it, I just felt so bad that I was going through that. But then I, uh, I was able to uh, get help <laughs> <laughs> by going to get scared out of actually going to scared a, straight. You know, hospital. So I was like, um, yeah, not for me. Let me, let me, let me eat some meat. And yeah, I guess. <laughs> they lie in a way. They lie in a way. I don't know why that was in my head. I don't even know where I ever heard that for the first time. But it was this thing like everybody was a predator around. Exactly. Me. Everybody was trying now to. Now you are in this. They lie mm -hmm. and wait. Parent, like, oh, don't I'm go waiting down for them those. to rebuild themselves. You also get this Show me. savior complex as a conspiracy theory. <laughs> oh, yeah. You also that think is you're, really not. Oh, you gotta tell everybody. everybody. Yeah. You gotta, you're you gotta better. You not see You gotta it. stay in line with it? people. Like, because if you're trying to help them or like whatever, like you you're don't so do that naive. from a soapbox. You're so naive. Yeah, no one likes that. No one likes <laughs> no one likes <laughs> that. No one likes being like, hmm, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not seeing it, man. You don't get They lie and wait, man. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, you. We love up. you. Yeah, hit Thanks us up in the comments. Here. Love you, mom. I, I can't wait to see the comments on, on <laughs> this one. Same. Uh, yeah. Love they you. Lie Subscribe if wait. you haven't. We'll see you next week. They lie <laughs> in, in wait. wait. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. Thank you for watching this thank week's you. episode. And thank you to our patrons. Yes. Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. We part. love you. We do uh, bonus content, live streams, and mm -hmm. you guys help keep this show mm -hmm. going. If you want to join, check us out. Yes. And big shout out to our super, super friends. Hey, hey. hey. Super friends dance. It's a super, super friends, friends dance. dance. Super, super friends dance. dance. And a big shout out to our super Duper oh, super friends. duper friends. Okay, we starting out with Legendary X, AK. Mm. And we got Rebecca Saletti. Let's go, Becca. And Eve. Eve. Thank you, guys. Eve. We love you. Super friends, Dan. Super friends. We'll see super you on the live friends. stream. Thank super you, super friends. duper friends. Oh, oh. Back it up. Yeah.